Thank you so much for joining me on this collage journey. I always have to look in the screen of the camera when I start it up, so um, I have to stand up and that's why you hear that uh, horrible noise of the chair moving when I sit back down. Uh, anyway, let's do another page. And uh, yesterday I messed up and did this page first. So um, I'll have to go back and do this page. I thought, oh, maybe I can get through this whole book without making a mistake. Are you kidding? <laughs> Never happened. Oh, my. Anyway, we're in the middle of the third signature. As you can see, the stitching in the middle. And I'll show you the back of the spine, how that is. And uh, so once we get through that third signature, that is halfway through the book. And I don't know what I'm going to do if I really do get this filled up. I don't know. I guess I'll have to start another one maybe. But... Mm. But it's fun. I love doing it. And I'm getting a little more um, comfortable, I guess you could call it. Sometimes I feel like I don't have enough to say. But then I see some videos on YouTube that it says no talking. So, maybe some people don't like to listen to people rattling on. <laughs> I don't have a lot to talk about. Um, my garden, my grandchildren, and uh, my crafting. Oh my, this is a, another brittle, brittle, brittle paper. This is a dictionary page. Okay, let's see if we can get some color on the edge here. Some of these, oh, I mean, I love old books. And you know, just like uh, that old German poetry book. Oh my goodness, that pa that paper was so brittle I didn't realize. and. Um, then I have some other old German books, but they're fairly, in, um, the paper is pretty decent. But, man, you just hate to not get a hold of that stuff, even if it is uh, brittle and hard to work with. And I love, absolutely love books. I have a whole... Um, Shelf. Well, we I had a a, a wonderful bookcase, but it was uh, floor to ceiling and very very heavy. Um, a guy that my husband worked with in building maintenance uh, um, built it for one of the offices, and when they. Um, when they wanted to get rid of stuff, they would uh, auction it off to the workers, and he bought it. And, uh, oh, it was just wonderfully built, but it was so heavy, and we moved a few times, and for us, at our age, it just... And to to have people that helped us move to have to deal with that monstrous, monstrous, heavy piece of furniture, we just decided to 
uh, take it apart and so we saved some of the shelves which I made use of in other places but um, but anyway we um, we uh, remodeled the kitchen some years ago and so my husband built a half wall between the living room and kitchen and on top of that half wall we put an oak one by six. I've always been partial to oak when I was uh, years and many years ago um, we redid the kitchen in our house uh, before we moved out here and uh, out in in Wisconsin before we moved to Colorado and uh, and uh, we did my husband and I did the staining and varnishing of the cabinets and they were just gorgeous I know I put six coats of varnish in the inside of the drawers because of the wear you know they would have gotten uh, anyway we spent a lot of time on that kitchen and uh, so anyways when we moved out here we um, bought a mobile home and well we've had a duplex and first and sold that um, and then we bought a mobile home and and a mobile home even while well, houses too you don't have any cupboards and I have got to have cupboards so we remodeled um, the kitchen in our mobile home and I have more cupboards in my mobile home than most people have in their houses. And I still could use more. <laughs> but anyway, we built a half wall behind, or between the living room and kitchen that the counter, or the cabinets would butt up against. And then we put uh, an oak board on that half wall and I stained and varnished it and um, and then we um, we put a shelf above that we had some uh, little oak one by ones we made like posts and put another oak board up above that and so I had uh, shelves for my books and this past summer or early this summer I should say we uh, added another shelf because we dismantled that bookcase and I didn't have any place to put books so I needed another shelf and uh, my husband was surprised at how easy it went we were we thought we would be in for another big or a big job and it went so easy and so now I have a whole nother shelf for books one of these days uh, maybe I'll well one of these days if I can get my craft room organized I'm gonna do a video on my craft room and and then maybe I can remember to uh, take a shot of that bookcase setup that we that we made okay now then Okay, let me 
get a piece of stuff here. This is handmade paper. It's like cotton. There. Okay. Okay, whoops, <laughs> let's try not to make another mistake already. I got too many things on my mind, I think. I've got another video series that I'm attempting uh, to do, uh, m making an altered book, and uh, I hope I didn't bite off more than I could chew. Okay. There. Scrapbook paper scraps add so much to a collage. Um, I've added uh, scrapbook paper to a lot of my collages and uh, they just add so much interest. All right, so there we go with another page. I hope you've enjoyed this collage journey so far. Um, I thank you once again, and uh, happy crafting until next time.